Hi guys, welcome to another episode of It's Your Kitchen. Well, today we're gonna do something very easy. No cooking, we're gonna do some baking. Simple, simple, simple recipe. But first, before I let you know, I would like to thank all of my followers, starting from Aruba, Bonaire, St. Martin, Curacao, Guyana, Suriname, Florida, Memphis, Tennessee, Arkansas, Ohio, Oregon, California, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Delaware. Um, uh, do, do, I know I'm missing Detroit. I got one lady from Detroit. How's it going? <laughs> Detroit. All right. Um, the Netherlands, England. Uh, my one fan there from uh, from China, India, Mexico. Guys, thank you so so much for tuning into another episode of It's Your Kitchen. First and always foremost, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe um, button and the notification bell. So every time I come up with a new uh, video, you'll be notified. You'll be the first to know. All right, guys. Well, jumping right into it. Um, today is going to be something very simple. Butter cookies. Yeah, that's it. Butter cookies. Here on the island, it's um, any supermarket that you head into, anywhere that you go, even at um, our 24-hour um, gas stations you, uh, mini market, you will find them in small little Ziploc bags um, uh, for sale. <laughs> All right. Um, I have been asking around um, a lot for the recipe, and you know what? Everyone is tight lip. I don't know why. I think they're they're thinking you're gonna cut into their profit. I don't know, but nevertheless, guys, I got the recipe and I'm gonna share it with you because that's what we're here to do. We're we're here to share. All right, not a cooking channel. Um, I should say not a professional learning cooking channel. We're just having fun in the kitchen and creating. All right, because always remember, it's your kitchen. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We're gonna head over. I'm gonna show you the simplest ingredients. Trust me, all right? So guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, all right? <laughs> Welcome back, guys. All right, I have here uh, my standing mixer, and to this, I have the paddle attachment. If you don't have a standing mixer, don't worry your head. You can use also a um, hand mixer as well, okay? But I love my standing mixer. All right. Um, also, you can do it by hand, but it's going to take a little um, little longer to do by hand. I'll tell you why. Okay. As we go along with the ingredients. All right. To start off, what I have here is three quarter cups of white granulated sugar. All right. I'll be using whole milk. Now I'm going to show you the brand, but I'm going to use two tablespoons of whole milk. All right. One teaspoon of vanilla uh, extract. You can use the white or you can use the dark vanilla extract. All right. Also, have here one egg. Place that right there so it doesn't roll, go anywhere. And also the star of the show, I have here in my mixer, two sticks of salted butter, um, room temperature. Also, the egg is also at room temperature. Anytime you're going to do any baking, guys, try to have the majority of those ingredients at room temperature. Now, the reason now, going back in the beginning, as I stated, if you do it by hand, it's going to take you some time. So you're going to be, have to be patient because you're going to want to um, cream the butter and the granulated sugar. All right. And you want to get that to a nice creamy consistency. Now that might take, um, now on the standing mixer, it will be about, I would say maybe 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, maybe less. All right. But if you're doing it by hand, be patient with it. All right. So guys, I'm going to place my, uh, my bowl right under the standing mixer. And then I'm just going to start um, blending that. All right. And also... How could I forgot this? All right. I have here a already pre-sifted. Try to get that in here. My little bowl. All right. Come on. Open up for daddy. <laughs> in this bowl, I have here two 
and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and one eighth teaspoon of uh, cinnamon okay so again that's two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and one eighth teaspoon of uh, cinnamon all right and again guys don't worry I'm not gonna let you stranded as always I'm gonna definitely be posting all of the ingredients for you all right so stay tuned and we're gonna start getting all of this um, the sugar and also the the butter all creamed up and nice for you all right so stay tuned again the recipe is come on let's hear it <laughs> it's butter cookies all right so stay tuned right, guys here we go once again my bowl is all set and ready to go I'm just gonna pour in the sugar all right and again we're just gonna cream this all right uh, Take right here, place down my, there you go, come on baby, come on, there you go for daddy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start it out first on setting number one and let that get going. As I said, try my best all of your ingredients to be room temperature because if you have some room temperature and some cold, it's going to basically not destroy but the purpose, no. All right, okay, as you can see right there, a little Hollywood close-up. All right, and now what I'm gonna do on setting number two, is setting number three. And now I'm gonna let this go for about maybe five to 10 minutes, check back on it to see of the consistency that I like, and I will show it to you as well, so stay tuned. It has been about um, eight minutes, I'm just gonna stop this here so you can see. The color is all like a very pale, nice, beautiful, buttery um, texture. And get my spatula here. Okay, let's see. As you can see right here, see if I can get a little Hollywood next close up for you. <laughs> so this is perfect. All right, so it's about, it was about just under, I would say, 10 minutes. All right. All right. So next, what I'm going to be adding in, I'm going to be adding in the egg. Oh, also to pipe these, I don't have a professional um, piping bag and the tips or anything. If you don't, you can use a regular Ziploc bag. All right. Just get this right here. A large um, Ziploc bag. Oops. And you just cut the tip. Now, inside, if you can see right here, I have a piping tip. Actually, my neighbor neighbor borrowed it to me. It's a star tip. So I'm going to try it out. Um, and if you don't have that, guys, don't go out and rush buying these stuff. You know, if you have a regular Ziploc bag, you put your batter in here. And you will just cut the tip off. And you just pipe it. You know? And you make it your own. You make a nice little swirl, you know, do whatever you like. Remember, it is your kitchen, all right? But um, my neighbor borrowed me her um, star tip. So I'm going to try it out, all right? I'm going to use the Ziploc bag. I'm going to just slit a small little hole at the tip and just um, let the tip just peep out right there and just pipe it. Why not? If I didn't have it, if I didn't have that tip, I would also just use my regular. What I always used to use is my regular, uh, not used to, because this is my first time I'm doing this. So um, I told her that I'm going to try it out because I finally got the recipe and everything. So she's like, why not try with a tip? So I'm like, okay, I don't have no tip. So she borrowed me the pipe, um, the piping star tip. All right. So now what I'm going to be adding in, I'm going to be adding in the egg. And at this point in time, things will go a little bit much more faster. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. These cookies will bake. It all depends on the size, but I would say about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. All right. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back, guys. Also, what I always do, instead of cracking the egg and just letting putting it in, 
you never know sometimes you do get a bad egg or sometimes some shells get in there I don't know if you remember from my first 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 set of videos I always say crack the egg in a small bowl make sure that it's good this is a beautiful color all right you don't get any shells it's not a bad egg so once that's done then you just add it in and that's it all right so now we're going to let this go for about maybe five minutes or maybe three minutes okay start on one again i always started on one you never want to go rapidly so fast and just build up all right so this is good this is good so far so let me um get back to you in about i would say in another two minutes or so and then we're going to start we're going to add in our one teaspoon of vanilla you can either use the white vanilla um, extract or the dark va vanilla extract that is up to you if you want to use almond extract banana extract orange extract whatever extract you make it your own whatever you have on hand go for it all right and then after with um that is added we're going to add in our our two tablespoons of um, milk i'm using whole milk and then we're going to add in our dry ingredients which is a two and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour with an eighth of a teaspoon i almost said an eighth of an inch <laughs> an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon all right so guys stay tuned welcome back guys it has been exactly three minutes I'm gonna add in now the uh, one teaspoon of vanilla oh you just love that smell okay all right let that go for another minute or so uh, and then what we're going to add in is our one tablespoon of milk. Um, two tablespoons of milk. All right, stay tuned. I'll, be, I'll get my tablespoon. All right, here we go. I know I'm going to make a mess here, so I'm going to stop this. Just pop this up. Wow, batter looking nice. We could just dive right into that. <laughs> All right. Have my tablespoon here, and I'm just gonna add in two tablespoon. That's one. No, I made a mess. <laughs> two tablespoon. All right. And now I'm just going to set it back in, down, start it back on one, leave this go for about five minutes, then add a dry ingredient. So guys, stay tuned. Almost there. All right, guys, I just stopped the, the machine, uh, my standing mixer, just get it a little better there for you. All right. So now I'm going to be adding in the dry ingredients, which is the two and one quarter cup of all purpose flour. I'm not going to just dump it right all in. I'm just going to add it in maybe yeah, two big heaping spoons in. Let this mix. Always start it out on one. Let it get all nice incorporated. Then I'm going to continue adding in um, the, the rest of it. Okay. Slowly increase it to two. Guys, if you want to add also um, maybe chocolate chips, walnut, crushed walnuts, you can do that. But it's going to be a little difficult to pipe. If you have the piping um, nozzle, then it's going to be a little difficult. I would then say just use a regular Ziploc bag, snip it off, and then you can snip off a little bigger piece of the Ziploc bag tip so you can pipe it as well but you won't be able to use the piping tip that's the only thing all right okay place it back down on one and I'm just now going to add in 
the other. Get that right in there. Okay. Guys, trust me, we're almost to the finish line. Okay. Sorry for the stopping. Okay. <laughs> All right. And let this go. Uh, put this on two, number two and let it get all mixed up all right now I'm gonna add in the balance of that and then when we're all uh, when that's all done I'll be back and then we're gonna pipe it out and pop it in the oven so guys don't go anywhere right, welcome back guys um, the batter is all done this is basically the consistency that you would like um, the batter to be all right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pipe um, place all of this batter inside of my my homemade piping bag I'm gonna show you that just in case because I know when it was when I when I'm so the words not coming out I slit the the tip of the ziplock bag and I put the piping tip in it was trying to come out so I made my own. No, nope, I'm not MacGyver. If you all know who's MacGyver. <laughs> all right. And this is what I did. I took some masking tape, placed it around. Of course, this is outside, so the batter won't be touching this. And it stayed put. That's it. You make what you have. <laughs> all right. Also, I have my, uh, my cookie sheet. I'm just going to lightly dust spray with some... Um, cooking spray um, and then we're gonna start piping so stay tuned hi right, guys welcome back here I have my cookie sheet I lined it with some wax paper parchment paper whatever paper well on the box it says wax paper <laughs> all right oops sorry about that noise and I just um, lightly sprayed it with some cooking um, oil now here uh, is the piping bag, homemade piping bag, and I'm gonna try it now with the tip. Let's see what happens. Now you're gonna try to squeeze, squeeze and turn to get as much of the air out like this. And we're gonna try this for the first time together. If it don't work, guys, don't worry about it. Just pop it out and just pipe normal. Let's see. Anything gonna come out? I'm gonna squeeze down. Yeah, it's slowly coming out. Slowly coming out. So let's try our first one. Okay, it's taking its time. It's taking its time. You know what I don't like this <laughs> I think what would be better best if it's a larger um, star tip I think that would be it so what I'm gonna do this is why I like dealing with you guys no editing this is straight no blooper every blooper everything all right take this off here all right good all right do to do to do come on up trying to get it off now <laughs> Can't get it out. Can't get it out. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Alright. Got that off. The hole gonna be a little bigger, but doesn't matter. Okay. We're just gonna do like little dollops. Okay. And it's gonna work out guys, don't panic. 
Don't panic. All right. Get another row here. Okay. And guys, that's it. If you can see, let me... Ooh, where can I put, uh, place this right here? It does not have to be perfect. It's your kitchen, so you can do whatever you like. If you want, you can do round ones, squirrely ones, whatever rounds, and go right ahead, all right? So with these sizes, I think it's gonna take about maybe um, 10 to 15 minutes to bake. I'm gonna grab an, another dish, and I'm gonna continue piping the rest, pop it in the oven, and we're gonna see what it looks like and tastes like when it's done. Let's see if I got the secret that no one wanted to give me that recipe for. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned, guys. Guys, welcome back. You know what? I didn't like how that came out. So you know what? I re-bagged and all of the dough back into another Ziploc bag because the, the hole that was clipped for the piping tip was a little too large. So if you can see, I re-piped and these are much better. I am much happier with this look. Can you see that right there? So all I'm doing, I just started and just swirl around and up. Swirl around and up and that's it. All right. I'm much happier, much, much, much happier with this result. Oops, and it popped. <laughs> All right, but guys, you get the idea. All right, this is the result, and this will take about eight to 10 minutes. All right, so guys, don't go anywhere. Stay with me, and we're gonna come back with when it's all finished baked. All right, so stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Now, here is the final product. It actually took about um, 10 to maybe 12 minutes total because of the size that I made but it looks like the same in the supermarket well not low because of the star tip but you know what it's your kitchen you do whatever you want so if you see it the nice swirl that I did guys this looks very close now it's really piping hot so I'm gonna let it sit for a while and then we're going to test this out all right, <laughs> see you soon, guys. Well, hi, guys. Oh, it's a little too close. <laughs> guys, they are perfect. Oh, my God. Now, test. The test. As you can see, on the bottom, nice and brown, nice and chewy. Please let this work. It's the exact same thing. is the exact same thing. I'm picking another one. My little cookie dance. Oh wow. Also guys, if you like, if you can see the difference here, this is the one that I did the swirl with a Ziploc bag. And also I did another kind, just roll it into a ball and you get this round, um, this smooth surface as well. Guys, had a long time for someone to give me the recipe. Unfortunately, no one did. So I figured it out and I got it and I'm sharing it with you. All right. Guys, I would love, 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 love to thank you so much. It, yeah, it's a little hot. So much for joining me. Thank you to all of my followers from Aruba, um, St. Martin, Bonaire, Curacao, um, Guyana, Suriname, 
uh, Florida, Memphis, Tennessee, Delaware, Arkansas, Ohio, Oregon, California, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Mexico, India, China, Netherlands, England. Guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining me into another episode of It's Your Kitchen. And also don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So every time I come up with a new recipe, you'll be first to know. All right, guys, thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget, click like, share, tag friends, comments, everything, <laughs> all right? And always let's have fun in the kitchen. And never, never, never forget, it's your kitchen. All right, guys, so enjoy your, enjoy your day, all right? <laughs>